you know, I think we were proud of the way we fought tonight, um, especially being down 4-1 late. Uh, no one on the bench gave up. We stayed with it. Um, you know, we obviously we wanted to win the game, but uh, we're proud of that the effort that uh, was sticking with it all game. Did you see the replay? I didn't really see the replay. Uh, we were kind of talking uh, the situation if we were going back out there or not. I didn't see the replay, but you know, like I said before, we we did uh, a good job staying with it at the end and um, giving ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, I mean, there weren't a lot of power plays early in the game. It was five on five for the most part. And I uh, um, thought that, you know, late in the game, we did a good job of just getting pucks towards the net. None of them were pretty whatsoever. Um, but they don't have to be. They just have to be good for the net. Really. Um, I mean, I think we're just trying to get pucks to the net, and Oz was trying to just uh, throw it there. Um, you know, I don't know if he knew um, he was throwing it at me or not, but that's the idea is get pucks in that body so the matter gets in that. Yeah, I think that everyone, um, you know, it stayed committed and we were throwing different lines out every few minutes. Um, it was good attention and focus by the guys to, um, you know, stick with it, whoever was out there. And like I said before, we never gave up. Um, we, uh, you know, it, the way it was set up, we didn't get to see a whole lot of it. I think everyone kind of walked out and gave it a look. It was, you know, great to honor him and um, good to have some fans in the crowd. And um, what they did was a good job. Our staff was um, pretty happy with what the guys had done. You know, I think he's stepped up, and that's uh, the culture we try to have. Obviously, not having Nate and Jason here, we kind of got to step up on that top line. It's hard for Reese at a very competitive level, um, but he's you know given us a chance to win the game. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, I, he, I thought he did a great job answering the bell, and um, and then it was over. And we got to start playing hockey. No, so I didn't really see it um, until uh, I just got in the room there, kind of took a look at it. I mean, it looks like pretty conclusive kick in motion. It's a little bit of a tough one, obviously, that guy's falling into him. So um, if Joski keeps his leg there, it's probably a snap in half. So uh, obviously, he's got to move it, but at the same time, it looks like it was kicked. So um, tough one, but uh, we definitely had good effort at the end, that's for sure. Yeah, I think for me, especially, obviously, I didn't play preseason, so it's just uh, getting back to kind of adjusting to playing those minutes. And then, obviously, um, just the unique lineup we had tonight um, and then dropping to 10 forwards, unfortunately, in the in the first or second there. So, um, no, I thought the guys, especially on the front end, pulled together, um, did kept their shift short, uh, did as well as they could with the, with the amount of players that they were given. But, um, no, it's there. there's a lot of guys on our team that can carry that load night in, night out. And... Um, I think you saw that tonight, like you mentioned, with the uh, over 20 minutes of play for, uh, what, are, what you said, eight guys. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously it's not ideal. Um, but at the same time, it, eventually, or we'd hope not during the season, but eventually we'd hit something like that we had in the past few years. So um, you kind of have to be ready for anything nowadays in the in the times of COVID. So um and obviously, just a, a few unfortunate things like suspension and stuff. But um, no, I mean, it's a good test for us. I think the main thing um, for our team tonight was just bringing the effort, and I thought we did that. I mean, um, I guess it is a concern because we have guys out with it. But 
um, at the same time, we're taking precautions to make sure that um, we mitigate the risk of uh, other guys getting it. So um, that's kind of, yeah, there's not much else to that. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah no, um, I thought he played uh, very well tonight. Um, even um, on a few times when uh, when we we needed a guy back, I think the one, I don't know if somebody passed it to him or if he just lost to the top of the blue and then he ended up playing D and then breaking up a three on one. So um, you don't see that too much from um, forwards like that. And um, I think it just shows the, the dedication that he brings to both ends of the ice. And uh, I, th I thought he played a pretty complete game for the most part tonight. So um, no, it's awesome to see that he can step into that role. and. Like I said um, in an earlier question, we have so many guys that can uh, are, are capable of stepping up and playing those roles, so it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, um, that's a that's an interesting question. Obviously, you never want to lose, and we don't come into the game tonight going like, oh, we might as well just try. So um, at the end of the day, we're our goal is to win. Um, tonight, obviously, we didn't come out with that, but at the same time, um, it is adversity that. Um, we knew it was going to be tough, and um, I'm proud of the, the team tonight to um, kind of how we finished that off. Yeah, I saw the replay. I, I mean, I don't love the call just because I've been watching the game in Vegas the other night that guy, in my opinion, kicks it in, game in Ottawa, Toronto, guy kicks it in, seems to count unless it's us at the end of the game from the short season. So I don't like it. I think it, I probably don't like it more just because, you know, I thought our guys played really hard tonight and I thought they deserved to get rewarded, especially after the push at the end. Yeah, I mean, a loss is a loss, but it, yeah, I, I think you know me well enough by now. I'm not going to judge your team on um, just results all the time. I think there's uh, guys played hard. They were resilient throughout the game. Um, we talked about a few things that we wanted to make sure that we were good with. Puck decisions I thought were much better tonight um, compared to the other night. I think uh, discipline was really good. We took two penalties. Both of them, in my opinion, were needless. Um, third period, kind of on the push. You know, intensity gets cranked up a little bit. We got caught reaching in on one, and Sam, or Burk, Burkowski and Sampo, you know, takes an interference call that he probably didn't need to take in that instance. But for the most part, our discipline was good. We wanted to make sure that uh, we were checking the right way. Didn't love our start in that regard. Gave up a few, um, too many scoring chances early in the game, but Kemper played well in, in the first and, and gave us a chance to kind of get our legs underneath us. And then I thought second and third were pretty good. So a lot of positives, especially with a young group, guys playing all over the place in different situations and handled it really well. But I think the best thing about it is I like their fight and their competitiveness the whole night. So uh, it started out with Nas fight and, uh, answering the bell for the fall kit and, and you know we kind of got going and, and played our game you know even though it was a little bit of an adjustment in the way we play I think we we were able to kind of make some key adjustments and then still get to to the game that we like to see from our group which was attack mode and we did a good job of it. Yeah, we just got to pick ourselves up. We'll look at that game. There's some things we definitely can improve on, especially from early in the game. Um, and get ready to go. I don't know what the lineup's going to look like. I have no idea. I mean, it's just, there's so many balls in the air right now as far as who's in, who's out, who could test negative and get back in our lineup from COVID. Um, right now, we plan on going with what we got. And uh, another injury tonight, obviously, to Mateau left the game with a uh, a lower body injury, uh, looked like ankle to me. Uh, he'll get reevaluated again tomorrow, but it looks like he's going to miss some time. Uh, 
all of them were de- defensive lapses and mistakes. That's how they get, you know, every scoring chance against is pretty much that. Um, I'd love to see him come up with one, you know, especially now that you kind of lose the game by one goal and an empty netter. I'd love to see him come up with one of those. Um, good shots, good shooters from good areas. Um, not a lot of traffic at the net, so I'd like to see him come up with those, and I know he will. So I, I would say um, he made some key saves for us early in the game to keep us in it and give ourselves a chance. Like the fight and resiliency of our group, I think over the long haul we'll see him uh, play better than that. They're a good team. I mean, experienced team. Uh, you know, they lose Schwartz. They lost Hoffman, two guys that can score. But then they added Saad, Lichnevich. It's an it's an older, more experienced group. They know how to win. Um, but I, I like the way we played against them tonight. I thought we we created some chances. You know, I thought maybe. Uh, Second period, we had some opportunities to score some goals and probably outchanced them in that frame after they did to us in the first. Uh, but Bennington looked pretty good in net tonight. So, um, you know, they're going to be a team that has to be dealt with for sure before the year's over. It's important, yeah, especially like with some of the guys that we lost out of the lineup, Don Scoy and um sod you know guys that were really chipping in for us last year in the goal department he had an off year he's hungry um did a lot of work on himself in the summer mentally and and made sure he came in shape didn't love his preseason but he found a way to chip in some goals in the preseason he's off to a good start now in two games hopefully the confidence comes um like to see that competitiveness out of him. And, and especially at the end of the game, he's involved in what he scores one, but he's all over the net tonight. Gets another one that he puts back to the net. I think it went off Jost, ended up being his goal. He's involved at the one at the end that gets um, uh, called back. So, I mean, he was, I mean, he was a dangerous player tonight. He was good defensively too. I'm on that. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I like the way he managed the puck. He he was involved physically. I mean, he knows, right? Like he's he's on that line with Miko and Berkey. It's one of the lines that we're gonna count on to score with these guys out of the lineup and they stepped up. He you know makes a great pass on the Burakovsky goal. Probably had the opportunity to shoot the puck a couple times that he didn't. I like to see him put a few more pucks to the net and reward some guys for going there, create some chaos. Um but he's been good from day one of training camp, you know, like it's uh, I, I think missing the playoffs for him has kind of stuck with him a little bit. He wants to have a real good start. He's had a great attitude, great work ethic. Um, you know, just keep him disciplined and keep playing the right way hard and um, get that 200 foot game going from him that he's had to uh, exhibitions, what we need from him and hopefully he can continue with it. Thanks. Thanks.